Oh, hello. Hi. I'm reading a book. No, I gotta tell you. The name of the book is The Big Con. The true story of how Washington got hoodwinked and hijacked by crackpot economics. In this one part of the book, it's called Charlatans and Cranks. It says, It is difficult for most of us to get our minds around the fact that American economic policy has been taken over by sheer loons. Economists, after all, are a fairly sober lot. Even if they're wrong, we tend to assume that their theories have at least undergone some fairly grueling academic scrutiny before they even reach the point of becoming a theory in the first place. Hello? So if supply-side economics is so off the wall, how could it have survived this review process in the first place? This is what I am researching. The answer is, said Didden, in the excellent 1994 book, Peddling Prosperity, The Princeton Economics. Paul Krugman wrote, Not only is there no major department that is supply-side and orientation, there is no economist who one might call a supply-side Cider in any major economics department. To be sure, economics departments are filled with conservatives who very much favor smaller government, more or less, alone, determine the fate of the economy. Nor do they believe that in anything resembling the present environment, tax cuts can spur enough growth to pay for themselves. Conservative economics, economists, do believe that tax cuts can create some increase in growth but that belief is almost always predicated on a corresponding cut in spending. And that made me think about a lot of things. I'd love to hear your opinions on this as I am really thinking hard about it. Because it doesn't sound like nothing of my friends. Do you? I'm curious.